Hello and welcome to this uh, latest feature update video. For those that have been following the channel, you know that every now and again I'll do an, a feature video based on the new additions and features added to various products. And today we're going to look at multi-track recorder and uh, a new addition to Lyricist. So let's start with multi-track recorder. Now the primary use for this was a, as a plug-in within AUM uh, just to expand the audio recording capabilities but the idea really was that it actually allows you to record uh, up to eight linear audio tracks and you can use that for dropping samples in or just recording sections of a song. But a lot of people out there wanted looping capabilities and so I added this remote feature. Now one good thing about uh, remote mode was it allowed you to select a um, loop as we've got here, turn loop mode on, and then when you uh, pressed play in the host uh, DAW, it would just cycle that loop until the host door stopped uh, its playback. Now for some people that was good enough, but it was rather limiting. So I've added this new method of actually creating a series of loop points and then being able to switch them remotely using MIDI notes. So to define a set of loop points, you just tap and hold the remote button and you get up this little dialogue here, which you can drag out the way of the timeline. And we can Define up to 12 loop points here by tapping the snapshot button and then tapping one of these buttons 1 to 12. And once you've stored a snapshot, you'll see that it turns yellow. And what we can do is we can keep selecting different areas on the timeline and snapshotting those areas as I'm doing here. So if you tap on one of these recorded snapshots, you'll see the loop points appear on the ruler and you'll see that the um, the play cursor position at the beginning of that loop. So let's just define a few more loops here. Um, I have two kind of song parts here which I'm going to attempt to uh, chain together and show you uh, two different ways of moving between parts. So I'm just going to define a couple more uh, sections here and then for the final section though, I'm not going to define a loop. Um, I'm going to remove the loop completely and just define a start point for a snapshot rather than, than a loop and we're going to see that in action in a minute. So as we did before, it's worth just uh, clicking on the 3, 4 and 5 buttons just to make sure that those parts have been recorded as we want, which 3 is OK, 4 is OK and five should just be um, a positioning of a cursor. So now we've defined our loop points, we're going to use the AUM keyboard to generate note on information to trigger these loops. One word of note is make sure you've got the MIDI version of multi-track loaded, otherwise it will ignore the MIDI input. Now if I press C4 upwards, so the first 12 notes from C4, will actually switch between these loop points they'll do a hard switch, an uh, immediate switch. Whereas if we press any of the notes from C3, uh, that will cue a loop point. So it will only start when the current loop is finished. So with loop 1 selected, we'll start playback. And during playback, I'm just going to keep hitting the C4 uh, button. And as you can see, each time I press a C4 button, it re-triggers that loop. But if I let it play, it will literally hit the end of the loop and then go back around again. Now I'm going to schedule the second loop by hitting C sharp 3 and as you see uh, once that uh, first loop had finished the second loop jumped in. So if we press C3 before this uh, loop expires we can then jump back to the initial loop. Now this gives you an idea of how we can trigger loops via MIDI note information. Now that could be from your door, from your sequencer, from anything. So all you need to do is pass notes up front and you schedule the loops. Or because these loops are free running, you can actually uh, trigger a loop to start immediately, which could resync if everything went out of sync slightly. Okay, so let's have a look at this second example for which we had three loop points set up. 
Now I'm going to let this loop cycle once and then I'm going to schedule the next part of the loop which I can do by pressing uh, D sharp 3 and again once we hit the end of the loop uh, we should transition to the second piece which we do. Now the third section if you remember didn't have a loop it just had a cursor position and whenever we trigger that which uh, I will do uh, next time round um, it will jump to that position and it will just continuously play from that position through the song so because there's no loop point it just moves to that position and continues playing as you can see there no loop point so when we hit the end of the song this is just going to stop the cursor will keep going but the music will stop um, but that's great if you want to jump to a point within a song so you don't necessarily have to set up loops okay i now want to turn my attention to uh, lyricist and for those that don't know lyricist is a computerized narrator stroke vocal singer which utilizes a talk box to simulate singing now in the previous version i allowed um the ability to export these computerized lyrics uh, to external packages but um it could only export the raw audio uh, not the um, talk box affected audio but in the latest version you can now click on the little rendered icon at the end of a lyric and select the option to copy audio plus talk box and you'll hear it speak that audio but the recording will end up in the clipboard and then can be pasted into whatever application you like now if you've been keeping track on the progress of lyricist you'll notice i've added quite a few remote modes to the uh, app that expand its functionality and this new one called remote phase triggering uh, allows you to trigger these phrases using remote note on information so to enable this mode you tap and hold or long press should i say the remote button and select re uh, phrase trigger mode from that menu and then turn on the remote mode um, at this point it's listening for MIDI note information. Now the first 12 notes from C0 will play back the phrases within the introduction. Uh, the second 12 notes um, after C1 will play the chorus and so on up the keyboard. So let's uh, press C1 and hear the first phrase of this chorus. There is a house in New Orleans. And we can press the second key to start the second phrase and we can even abruptly repeat phrases so that just about covers the updates for lyricist and multi-track uh, as ever check out my previous videos for full documentation on these products uh, but for now uh, thanks for watching, don't forget to thumbs up and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.